Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the farm, my friends. Hope you're having a great day so far. It is good to be here. I'm bringing you another installment of another farm roguelike here. And this is our ultimate minor run, which is eight weeks. We are on week five so far. So let's pop right on into the farm and see what's going on. And while we're popping in here, folks, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. You don't have to be shy. Just press that little subscribe button. We'd love to have you in the community. We're playing this game. We're playing a bunch of other games as well. Um, we have Stardew Valley, the new 1.6 update releasing on the 19th of this month. So that's in a few days here. We'll be launching a playthrough series of that. We just like good vibes and good games here, folks. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, don't be shy. Please consider joining the channel. So thanks a lot, and I really do appreciate your viewership. Now, to kind of get you up to speed to where we're at. So in the last episode, we did add the jewelry building here. We added some cows as well. Uh, the cows give us the milk soup, which is useful to us. We added furnaces. Added a few more quarries, and we just went bonkers on the mines, which makes sense in a minor run. And what you're seeing here, folks, is kind of the culmination of our efforts, if you will. We're making coal in the furnace with our wood. We're growing some trees to get basically a, a renewable source of wood, right? And we are fashioning our fine ores into products that can take us to the moon. This run is looking pretty good so far. Feeling pretty good. I wasn't sure kind of what to expect upon starting this adventure, but it's pretty strong. We just need to make sure we stay high on our energy level, which we can do with the kale sandwich. And we're, we're just going to keep on keeping on in this fashion here, folks. And I think the first course of action here, let's check the black market. So the black market has pure strength for crafting tools. And then extra space, plus one building slots to all buildings. That is tremendous. We will absolutely take that. Works with what we're uh, doing here pretty darn well. So that's a great get there, folks. And the first order of business here is let's get the crops taken care of, right? So let's press the P key to harvest. Let's press the I key to harvest the contents of our furnace as well. And, and other buildings too. And then you can press the O key to simply collect it all. And we see a nice little stack of coal there. Looks like about 400 units. That's tremendous. I think if I have a fear, it is the coal's ability to kind of keep up with our ores, right? So we're going to need a lot of coal. And to do so, I mean, we can just keep harvesting wood. And get it in the furnace. So let's get 12 jars and get our uh, cows taken care of here. This will give us some milk for the milk soup, which we can craft outright. Looks like we're out of glass. This is all right. We'll get that taken care of. Let's consume the milk soup. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, let's get the fields dug and let's get the sand in the furnace. Let's get some more glass. So it looks like we have a few units of sand there. Not a ton, but that's all right. We have a nice stack of milk soup anyway, so it's not really all that critical. We just don't need it. So this will be good. Um, first and foremost, though, let's just use all of these units of sand in the furnace. Looking good. Let's sell the apple. We just don't need it. As far as planning... I think you could probably argue that kale is the way to go, given we just added more bread, right? Let's get our wheat in the windmills. And gemstones in the quarry. Let's get some kale in the, the seed maker as well. We want to stay strong on kale. Let's go ahead and craft some kale sandwiches since we're on the topic. All right, 66 units of kale left. I'm glad I'm growing some of those. Now, what do we have here? I suppose we can get some fertilizer in place. And then we have a different kind of task here in the chopping of these trees. 
I think I love the idea of going with a diamond axe here. So six diamond bars, it is a lot, but we have 20 diamond bars to work with here. So why not? Diamond watering can, I mean, do we go with that? Diamond hammer. Let's just upgrade our kit to all diamond. I guess sand's the fishing rod for now. And let's take our fine new axe to these trees here. Secure that wood. So we can turn it into coal. And look at that. We get another diamond right there. You know, when I first started playing this game, I was really wondering. I was like, so how do you even get diamonds, right? I was thinking maybe the mine can spawn them. No, they're a little more challenging to get, but there are upgrades and things that you can pay for to increase your, your likelihood of getting diamonds. There's also the rare event, the meteor storm, the meteor shower, where terrifyingly enough, a meteor hits your, uh, your island somewhere and destroys everything in its path, but it does bring with it diamond nodes that you can mine out. So several different ways to get diamonds, but... At least as far as I know, they don't spawn on the field for you to mine like gold does or iron, right? So we want to keep that in mind. It's, it kind of makes them scarce. However, um, that's okay. We've actually been doing pretty good. Alright, so those trees are mined out. We have we got, what, three, 400 units of wood there. I don't necessarily think we need to be growing trees every single turn. In fact, the way they're kind of wedged in here is it's kind of uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Uh, looking a little low on the energy and we haven't even begun mining yet. So let's go ahead and pound down some kale sandwiches. Sell the apple. Looks like we have some flour here. Let's get that in the furnace. More flour is more kale sandwiches. So I sure hope you fine folks are enjoying this run so far. Like I said, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But it's going well. It, re it really is. And it's been a joy so far, for sure. So let's take to the mines now. And let's go a little crazy with our pickaxe here. What I like to do is just kind of focus fire on basically everything... I mean, that's why you have the uh, kale sandwich, right? It allows you to mine everything and simply restore your energy when necessary. And then we can use the hotkey to collect everything. So let's go. Let's... Start the collection process here. Gonna have more ore than what we even know what to do with. We're also getting a lot of diamonds too. In fact, we're getting a bunch of diamonds. I mean, look at They're everywhere, right? So I think this playthrough uh, kind of serves as maybe a bit of a case study. That the minor run absolutely is possible. It's actually pretty strong. Now what does the rent look like? You know, week 7? Or at the end of week 8? I guess we'll have to see. It's at 140k now. We're up in the mid 200s. So we're doing great from a... Uh, an economic standpoint, right? But will it be enough? I mean, it's conceivable that ultimate difficulty really ramps it up, you know, between week seven and eight, and we're stuck short. I mean, who knows, right? It's not like we're selling super high price stuff. We're just selling high volumes of decent selling stuff. And that's kind of our lifeblood here. So let's go ahead and collect everything on the field. We have a nice barren plains now. So let's go ahead and let's build more mines. 
I'm going to be less hyper focused on the space it's taking up. We're just going to kind of wedge them in here where sensible. Let's do that for now. Let's use our shiny new diamond hammer. Build these up nicely. And then we'll go with just a combination of ores and stone. Because we certainly do want ore to put in the furnace, but we also want coal. Alright, that feels about good. We can obviously toggle it in whichever way we want in the near future here. Alright, as far as ores go. Well, it looks like this gentleman right here would like 20 copper for some gold. I mean, absolutely. We'll make that trade all day, every day. Let's check the shop. We have some coal in the shop. Definitely want that. Now, we are being charged a little extra due to the shop tax, but we're doing pretty good. So let's just keep stacking coal. It's only the key after all. And then first and foremost, let's get the diamonds smelting down. And then the gold. And then you guessed it, the iron is next up here. I mean, we have so much iron. I'm in the 600s now. And then we'll throw in just a bit of wood here as well. Probably want to do a bit of that every single turn. In fact, I think I can probably add some more furnaces. Given we have a ton of resources to use in the furnace every single turn, right? So let's add another row. And just keep building that up. As we're able. All right, perfect. So let's use our wood in the just built furnaces here. We want to keep our coal sky high. All right, we ran out, but we're able to mostly fill up all of our furnaces, which is pretty darn good. All right, as far as Additional tasks go to kind of consume our energy. Why don't I go ahead and get some trees planted right here. Here's my tree seeds. Okay, looking good. Watering can. Gotta love that diamond watering can. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. We're out of stone. Tomorrow we do have an upgrade, which is exciting. Hopefully we can get the one that gives us coal upon taking something out of the furnace. It basically, it gives you a bit of coal back. That would be a very strong one for us to get. But I think for the time being, we can simply end our turn here. There's... Not really too much else to do. Uh, let's clear out the inventory a little bit. And also check some sell prices. Let's check some pricing here. Alright, what are we looking at? We have... Diamond bar and gold bar. Both are not selling very well. Gold Sapphire Necklace and the Gold Emerald Necklace. Selling pretty good. But we don't necessarily need to do that right now. 
Actually, what, what we can do here is we can go ahead and craft some gold emerald necklace. So how many emeralds do we have? We have 33. All right. So let's craft 33 gold emerald necklaces and let's make the sale. Lovely. All right. Let's sell that then. That's going to be 24K. Get a little inventory rearranging going. I think I like these gemstones kind of the back page of our in inventory here. Excuse me. All right, lovely. Let's end our turn there and see what upgrade we get. All right, we have fishing expert, honey lover, and glutton. Using consumable gives you 50% of its price. I mean, we are using a consumable every single turn, it seems. So let's go ahead and do that. I suppose in the future, we can always just fish away the rest of our, our energy. Excuse me if, if it gets to that. So let's go ahead and harvest. Let's go ahead and collect. And let's press the O button to grab it all. Let's get the cows taken care of. How you doing, my nice little cow friends here? Let's get 12 more jars. Let's get these. Let's get the milk collected from our fine cow friends here. Let's get the fields all dug up. Hopefully we get some more sand here. Got a few units. And I think we can throw the stack of radish seeds in. Let's get a few units of wheat and then the rest kale. Gonna fertilize the kale. Looking good. Let's get it watered. Let's get some gemstones in the old quarry as well. Get some more kale in the seed maker. Wheat in the windmills. Life on the farm is hard work here, friends. Just get a nice blend of gemstones. All right, so we did select our upgrade, but let's check the black market here quick. Sprinkler range, fish pickaxe. I mean, we are using our pickaxe a lot, but I'm just, I'm out on fish. We just don't need it. Okay. So coal, we have 190 units of coal. We're going to have to do better, but we also haven't mined yet either. So let's go ahead and craft our kale sandwich. Let's craft our milk soup. Okay, lovely. Let's eat our milk soup and get paid for it. You gotta love getting paid for eating some soup. And let's get our flour in the furnace for just continued bread production. Perfect. All right, so let's take to the mines then. I think is probably a good next step. And see how much coal we kind of come out with. And then what I want to do is I definitely want to get probably another round of just lots of lumber in the furnaces, right? In fact, why don't I do that right now? I tend to get a little carried away. And I use up all my coal before we can really get the lumber in. So let's go ahead and... Let's throw that in here. All right, so we use all of our coal right there. All right, that's all right. Let's just go ahead and mine the rest of this out. All 
Got some nice big coal nodes there, which is great. Out of energy, the soul heads eat the kale sandwich and get paid for it. You bet. So I think I alluded to this in one of my previous episodes during this playthrough, but I was essentially inquiring, you know, what your weekend plans are, well, or week, week slash weekend plans, I should say. So for me, and I mentioned this, um, I actually played in a pool tournament, so a billiards, right, pool, where you're shooting the cue ball into the numbered balls, right? So we played in like the state tournament this weekend. Had a lot of fun. It was a good time. I don't want to say we uh, crushed or anything because we didn't really. Otherwise, we'd be playing today. So today's Sunday. Uh, we'd be playing today if we did. But, you know, we had some success. So that's always good. Didn't really uh, win anything of value. But... Had an overall good time. It was kind of a long weekend, though. It was kind of a grind. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it makes you really kind of question, okay, so how much pool do you really have in you, you know? How much do you really like the activity of playing pool? So I'm going to add some more mines here. But that is a segue into a question of, you know, what did you do this weekend? Anything fun? Anything noteworthy? Let me know in the comments. And also, thanks to this community for just being so active and engaged. Really do appreciate your comments. Appreciate everybody who stops by and... Who stops by? Who stops by and checks out the content. You know, has the presence of mind to leave a comment and engage and interact. Awesome. You folks are the true MVPs. It's not gold. It's not diamonds. It's not milk soup. It's not kale. It is you folks. So thank you kindly. You really are awesome. So let's continue to fill up our furnaces here. Definitely want to get all the gold in. And then let's go with some more lumber. I want to get a ton of coal this next turn here. How are we doing four coal? We have 67 units of coal left. So why don't we just use it all for lumber? Build some more furnaces. We do have a pretty insane amount of furnaces here. All right, looking good. Gold bars, 536. They're selling for 194. Simply don't need to make that sale right now. Iron bar selling for 116. A little underwhelming there. Diamond bar, why don't we go ahead and craft our diamond fishing rod? Sure thing. Already checked the black market. All right, looking good. Just need more coal. Can certainly check the shop for just some trace coal here and there. However, we're going to have to continue on with our coal creating operation. Gold sapphire necklace not selling very well. What I want to do though is I definitely want to keep a necklace of each type on me so I can check pricing right that's how we really maximize profits 
potentially. Because you can target which one is selling the best and use some gold for that, right? So it's going to work out for us. All right, looking good. I mean, we got some more mines built. We got some more furnaces built, even though we probably don't really need them. Let's get more mines. More mines equals more coal. Pound down a kale sandwich here and finish the job. And finish out the day. I think we're good. Probably ending it right about there. Nothing's really selling. I mean, we could sell our copper stack here. 575. Selling high end. Might as well. We're just going to get it back. So let's end it right there. All right, day three dawns. So let's tend to the fields. Let's empty the contents of our furnace. Look at all of that coal. 230, 284, and 192. All right, so that's 716 units of coal. That is a great amount of coal right there. Exactly what you'd want to see. If you're hurting for coal, which we kind of are, it's the thing that kind of holds us back. I'm going to plant some more kale seeds. Do some wheat as well. Fertilize. And water. Let's get our windmills all pumping. Let's get our cow friends fed as well. So much more manageable having just 12 animals versus the 300 I had in my last playthrough. But I tend to go big in games like this, right? It's just my style. Where I'm trying to maximize as much as possible every single turn. It's just kind of how I play games like this. Let's get some gemstones in the quarry as well. And let's do wheat seeds this time. All right, so more coal, right? Let's do flour first. And let's probably do like half of this as wood. Maybe even a little more. All right, 331 units of coal left. And we're actually kind of low on ore here. So let's see kind of how this all shakes out after we're done mining. But maybe we toggle some of these mines to ore. Or add more mines even. All right, let's craft us some kale sandwiches. And milk soup. Let's get some more glass. All right, looking good. All right, so let's start the mining process here. Definitely goes a little quicker than feeding a bunch of animals, right?
So a nice commenter and member of the community was commenting, uh, said that they recently got this game because of this playthrough, and that's something that I really like hearing. That's that's amazing. Thank you very much for sharing that. That's tremendous. But they were mentioning that there was a week where the shop gives you like bonus gold for selling to it, essentially. And what they were able to do was buy some cheap seeds and then simply resell them to the uh, shop, right? And, w and essentially, you know, gets some positive cash flow due to that, right? So if you buy a seed for $15 and you sell it back for $115, why wouldn't you just keep doing that? So that's a little exploit this individual was mentioning. And it's a big brain move for sure. Brilliant move. So shout out to you, fine commenter. I do appreciate interacting with you. You rock. So thank you so much for your uh, support of this channel, your viewership, your comments. You are awesome. So thank you so much. And that's a, that's a really smart move. It'll help you get out of uh, the, the doldrums of the early game where money is tight, right? This game is all about kind of balancing resources. And the ultimate currency is, of course, your en energy bar. Excuse me. Energy equals cash money, right? Cash money is the goal. And there's so many ways to get it. All right, all the mining is done. We have 723 units of coal. That is lovely. So let's go with the gold first and foremost. No gold and diamond. All right, diamond and then let's top it off with some iron here. Should have enough to fill up the rest of our furnaces. And still maintain some semblance of a nice stack of coal here. So 345 units of coal remain. That's very nice. Let's check some sell price. Uh, copper bar selling great. So we can go ahead and just sell it. Diamond bar leaves a lot to be desired. Gold bar as well. Iron bar is selling very low end. Looking at 451 stone. Why don't we build a few more mines? Let's build them in these spaces here. I'll probably toggle all of these to ore. I think we're doing pretty good on coal. At least for now, but... Like I had mentioned in, I believe, the first episode. It's going to kind of be a moving target, right? We're going to have turns or weeks where we're good on coal and not so good on other resources. And then it'll shift. All right. I like that. Let's check our black market here. Pure strength and spooky tools. Let's do that. Spooky tools is nice. If we can get a stack of... What is it? Spiders. Be a way around having to go with an actual alchemy pot. So let's do that. Makes sense. Pure strength does us no good. Let's get some more coal. And let's call it good. Look at that. 
Already getting some alchemy stuff, right? So why don't we upgrade our backpack a couple of times. Let's just sell the fish outright. Have no interest in holding on to them. And I'll just keep a row of alchemy stuff here. Maybe we can find a use for it. Maybe we can build some totems, right? Why not? I mean, it's a sensible kind of next step here. Right? We just need some of this random stuff. Like, strength totems w would be great. So we'll find out, but let's end our turn there. I think we're looking good. We have small fish tomorrow. Alright, day four dawns here. And the once smooth map is now all rocky. And that's quite alright. That's what you want to see. So let's go ahead and harvest. Let's empty the contents of our furnace as well. Look at all of that coal. 291, 71, 312. Seven diamond bars. Got a little bit of glass. 188 units of gold. Have some iron as well. Lovely stuff. Let's collect it all. And in typical fashion, let's take care of our animal friends first. Well, let's take care of the fields first. Cows want some kale. It's like no radishes today. Crafting 12 jars. And let's get this milk. Let's get the wheat in our windmills here. Let's get the gemstones in the quarry. Sapphire. Alright, lovely. Let's plant some more kale for sure. Get it fertilized. Looking good. Let's get our flour in the furnace. And a few trace amounts of sand as well. For the seed maker, let's go with Let's go with wheat. Alright, looking good there. Almost have a thousand units of coal. It's a glorious sight. Let's craft some kale sandwiches. Alright, kale is almost gone, so we're going to have to be careful on our kale usage. Use some milk soup and get paid for it. Let's check the black market. Quest hunter or enchanted crafts. Each time you craft an item, gain one energy. Sure. It sounds useful. Alright, let's take to the mines. The northern mining region. We should be getting all kinds of alchemy products as well as some random diamonds. So let's take advantage. Alright, let's use our kale sandwich here. And 
and keep hammering away. Well, I guess mining away. Hammering is, of course, a different function. Got all kinds of, you know, beetles and spiders and magic essence. Got a bone there. Got some stones, and we are fresh out of energy here. So I've pretty much had to refill my energy bar twice so far. I think it takes, what, like four, four or five kale sandwiches to refill it. So I kind of want to be mindful of that, given our kale is low. So it's another, it's another resource to kind of balance, right? That's a big part of this game. All right, let's collect everything. There's a few ores and rocks to kind of clean up here. All right, so... It takes about it takes about three times around to mine everything. All right, so here's what I want to make sure I do. Let's get all of our alchemy products at the very end of our inventory here. Bone keep them in their own, their own stack 1300 units of coal you love to see that all right for spiders we have five so spiders are okay so the strength totem bat wing we have one bat wing all right so maybe we should get some planks going we will be able to build totems we're gonna have to do a die machine and we're gonna have to do I don't know why I always click the windmill we're gonna have to do the alchemy stand which means a lot of die I don't love that but I think what we can do is start supporting we can just start getting some planks and we can start supporting totems for sure. Why not? So that means we're going to have to get our sawmill back up and operational. Let's get two of them. All right, looking good. As far as another little zone for some trees, why don't we do this? Let's take this mine out here. Let's go ahead and... Because we're going to need the wood, right? think we can easily you know sacrifice a little bit of uh, real estate here for some more trees we're gonna need the wood for sure so let's go ahead and water that up that looks good we have some spider webs shout out to the fisherman run right where those spider webs were pretty important We have some sand as well. 
let's get that in the old furnace. All right, now to fill our furnaces the rest of the way. Gold, some 200 units. Diamonds. And iron. Looking good on the iron here. Curious to see what the coal looks like after all of this is done. Coal sitting at about, what, 600-ish? 625? Still missing a few here and there. It's going to be a lot of iron, though. All right, perfect. Grab the coal. Already checked the black market. Let's just roll for a few more units of coal here. Grab some tree seeds as well. All right, looking good. So let's check some pricing. Diamond bar. We have gold bar selling high here, folks. This is the payday we're looking for. Iron bar also selling high. All right, lovely. Let's sell the iron first. 82K. And the gold. This is going to be a very big number. $174,000. Just lovely. Puts us up to the half a million mark. So there goes a mighty stack of gold, I must admit, but that's why that's why we are making it to sell it. All right, everything looking good here. Got some planks coming up next turn for some totems. And let's just see. So strength totem is the bat wing, right? Fish totem, seed totem, Money totem. King totem, sardine totem. Prosperity. Resources destroyed. Thin range grant plus one resource. Okay. Definitely some fun potential here. So let's explore it a little bit more next turn. And day five dawns here, folks. And uh, again, the smooth terrain turns into a rocky outcropping. And you see the uh, the gold spawning right on the trees. Very interesting. Definitely not complaining. So let's harvest. Let's collect. It's going to be a lot of iron bars. About 500. Let's collect it all. Get our wheat in the seed maker, the windmills as well. Feed our cow friends. Feed some kale. Let's go ahead and craft our 12 jars. And collect the milk. So what type of milk did you drink growing up? I don't know about your school system, but my school system always had, it was skim and then 2% and then there was also whole milk, right? I was always a skim milk kind of guy. Although I must admit, 2% or whole milk tastes much better. But I was always a skim milk kind of guy. How about yourself? Let me know in the comments. Let's plant some more kale. Definitely going to need some kale here. Let's get things watered up here. Got some more trees to harvest, which is good. So why don't we take care of that right now? Looks like we got a tentacle. 
Got some fertilizer to throw down. Let's do that on our new kale plant. And let's take the axe to the tree. Gotta be careful around these buildings though, for sure. All right, a little boost in wood there. 457, looking good. So let's go ahead and get some more trees down. You might have recently heard uh, a little flapping sound in the background. Well, that is my dog, Luna. She uh, just woke up from a little nap. Has to kind of, you know, shake it out a little bit. Doesn't seem to inhibit the growth of the trees at all. Super interesting. All right, let's start the mining process, but let's take a peek at the black market first. Fish pickaxe. I'm good. Craft some milk soup. Let's eat it in. Sell some of this random stuff that we just don't need. Gonna hold off on making more kale sandwiches for now. We've got to get a, uh, a kale harvest here. Got a nice little sack of them too. All right, let's start the mining process here. Getting some cold, just getting all kinds of random stuff here. And then I might want to sacrifice just a little bit of mine space for totems, right? If we can get some strength totems, if we can sprinkle in... What is it? The money totem, the prosperity totem. If we can sprinkle those in, I think they can work for us. But let's see. It's sort of like a sensible next step, right? I think if we wanted to really maximize completely, we'd go with that green potion. But I don't really think we need to. It's not really something that is like vital to our success. It's kind of a nice to have, right? Not a must have. And then I'm going to assess here too. Kind of figure out, are we getting more coal and stone than we kind of need? Or what does that balance look like, right? Definitely something I'm going to try to figure out this turn here. And then maybe we can adjust a few mines for sure. But I do think strength totems are important. Just to get a higher overall energy bar. Thank you. 
All right, let's look for any stragglers here. Looks like we got it all except for this guy right here. All right, 1,282 units of coal. I think we use about 500 per turn, maybe a little less for our furnaces. 2,000 units of stone. It's a mighty sum there. Oh, uh, we have 14 spiders. So five planks and 10 wood here. How many planks do we have? We have 10. So we could start our little strength totem stack. So ideally you want to surround a king totem with strength totems, right? So let's do that first and foremost. need more planks now which we'll be getting more next turn exactly 10 so we can essentially add two strength totems per turn I'm going to toggle a few of these two resources though Get a nice little stack of gold. All right. Now for the furnaces. 32 diamonds. Wow. And here I thought diamonds were scarce. 482 units of gold. This is just mighty. That's a lot of gold bars, folks. Gold bars certainly uh, are kind of our lifeblood here. And it gets about half of our furnaces filled up. Maybe a little more. How's the coal looking? 768. So we've ran through about... Five, six hundred units of coal. So let's get a little bit of wood sprinkled in there then. Just to get some coal back. Get a couple of stacks of these. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the iron. All right, looking good and looking full. Let's toss in a few more mines. I'm okay with that. We'll keep him as coal. Because, I mean, we just had, what, 500 units of gold? So we're not really <laughs> we're not really hurting by any stretch. Let's add a few more of these. And let's get some sand. Get some sand going. And the rest, let's make it iron and call it a day. All right, iron bar, gold bar, diamond bar. Selling high end right now. Uh, yeah, you make that sale. 16 grand. Lovely. The jewelry is not selling good. But why don't we go ahead and craft some? 
let's turn this gold bar stack into some necklaces. Give us a little flexibility when gold's selling low, right? So let's make some emerald necklaces. Let's get a couple of units of those. Let's make the ruby necklace as well. Get a couple of units of those. And sapphire necklace. Give us a little bit of flexibility, like I said, for when gold is not selling well. Let's end our turn there. Tomorrow we have Anti-Forager, minus one resource when destroying objects. That will undoubtedly hurt our mining operation just a little bit, but that's okay with me. All right, fields, furnaces, collect. Let's get fields dug. Let's get the kale seeds in the ground. Definitely got to recover our kale seeds. Get everything watered up here. Get our trees watered up. That is also like uh, our trees on rocky land, right? Our mountainous trees, if you will. Let's get our fine animal friends fed. A little kale action, you bet, cows. 12 jars. Let's go. All right, sawmills a pumping. Let's get the windmills a rolling. Let's get some gemstones as well, of course. The same general sequence of events each turn here. Some kale in the seed maker. Let's check the black market. Collector, strong fence. Don't need those. Let's get the flower in the furnace. Craft some milk soup. Sell the worm. Fertilize. We can craft a few kale sandwiches. We have 58 units of kale. Don't want to go too crazy with it. Let's bring it down to 20. Okay, looking good. Let's mine. Of course, we'll be taking a bit of a hit here because of the anti-forager, but it's not like I'm not going to mine, right? Seems like the game works a little faster too if you kind of collect things as you mine them, right? I mean, previously I was just letting it stay in the field, right? Seems like it makes things run a little slower. Though I must admit, it is a lot more fun and enjoyable to just grab everything at once, right? But we're all about efficiency here, folks, and this appears to be more efficient. Let's get all this mined up.
All right, looking good. Take that mine down and let's actually just move it over a little bit. That was gemstones. All right, great. Let's start our little totem. All right, perfect. So let's do that. Let's continue on mining. Get a little kale sandwich recovery here. And just keep on keeping on. All right. Got some stones. Looks like we could have a, uh, excuse me, a few more diamonds there. I'd like to know kind of how much I'm getting of each resource per turn. Would be interesting to know. Impossible to tell unless I sit here and tally it all up but it varies obviously all right looks like everything's all mined up here so let's take a peek 950 units of coal doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to be sustainable, right? 257 on the gold, 13 diamonds, bunch of iron. All right, let's start off by rolling for some coal here. Tree seeds too. All right, looking good. Let's fill our furnaces. Start with the diamonds, then go with the gold. You guessed it, iron is up next here. Curious to see where the coal's at here. Looks like all the furnaces are all filled up. That was about, what, 700, six to 700 units of coal there. So that's quite a bit of coal. So we probably want to do some wood in these furnaces each turn with the way it's currently set up, right? So let's turn a few more of these to stone. I think it's going to be a balance that's pretty impossible to fully dial in, but 
We'll do our best. As far as sell prices go, nothing's selling really all that great from an ore bar standpoint. However, how about the necklaces? 402 for the gold ruby. Gold sapphire is selling top end here at 480. So that's good. What we want to do to capitalize on that is convert 139 sapphires into the gold sapphire necklace. So let's make sure we get that done right now. So we need 135, sorry, 139 gold necklaces. One thirty nine. There we go. And gold sapphire necklace. Wish there was a way to like max craft. You know what I'm saying? Like it will craft all that you can possibly make. But here we go, folks. 182 units of something selling at 480. The gold sapphire necklace. So let's make the sale. 87k. Boom. Looking good. Feeling good. I think we can end our turn there. Into payment day tomorrow where 140k is dropping out of the bucket. We'll also get a little preview as to how the taxes the next week will be scaling. See how careful we have to be, right? So let's go ahead and end our turn right there. All right, so it does go up about 90K, so 230 grand. Now, we've made some good money this week, right? But have we made enough? I mean, this is only week five. So we have week six, week seven, and then the final payment week. So this is going to go up conceivably to, what, a million dollars? $700,000? Somewhere in there, so... I mean, 230 is not a small sum. So I don't think we're out of the weeds yet, if you will. I think there is still some danger in, in this run. Our production potential is mighty, though, for sure. We just have to make sure we balance our resources properly. So that is the challenge for, for me, and that is the, the solve I have to figure out. Um, You let me know in the comments, though, folks, what opportunities do you see? Right? What do you see? What's your perspective on it? Where maybe do we have an opportunity to kind of maximize more? Where do you suppose we have an opportunity to create more efficiency? You know, obviously, if we're unable to keep up with coal, then we're simply going to run out. We won't be able to use our furnaces. So there's a lot that could still kind of impact us here. Lots that we're still kind of wrestling with too. So I don't know that we're out of the weeds yet, but what do you think? I think regardless, this build is uh, very strong, right? I don't think we can dispute that, but is it an automatic win? I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I, I can't really say that. I mean, it, it's a hard statement to make for sure. I like what we're doing with the trees here though. I think that makes a lot of sense. Trees for coal and planks. Might as well go ahead and get our strength totems. And it's very interesting to me that you can just build on ore. It's strange. But I'll take it. Alright, some more max energy there. Now let's go ahead and check out the black market. Look at all this coal though. Lovely. Black market. Junk water. 10% that wood will drop. Okay. 
I like that. When we might not be fishing a bunch, but it's a source of wood, which is great. We'll certainly take that. All right, looking good here. Let's get the animals all fed up. Here you go, cows. Some delicious radishes. Just a little spicy. Let's craft some jars. And let's get the milk. Alright, more glass coming. Tons of bread. Milk soup, we simply don't have the glass, but we're still doing good on milk soup. Okay. Start the mining process. see kind of how much gold we get definitely want to get some lumber in our furnaces this round too just keep our coal production high Here's a nice big node of gold. Let's refill the old energy bar and let's keep at it. Persistence certainly pays off here, folks. Let's keep on keeping on here. More kale sandwiches is always the prescription. All right, looking good. Let's check for any stragglers. I think we got it all. Sure did. All right, sitting on 564 units of coal. It doesn't feel like it's going to be enough. So before I do anything more, let's go ahead and get some wood in our furnace. In fact, let's use a lot of wood here. I'll save like... I'll save 13 units of wood. And the rest can of course go... 
into the sawmill next turn. And the rest is gold here, folks. All right, we're out of coal. I was kind of expecting that. That's okay. Gemstones, we got rubies this time around. Looking good. All right, 45 diamond bars. I mean, 45 diamond bars. We're getting, like, a bunch of diamond bars every single turn. So we could maybe look into, you know, diamond necklace production but I've done the math there it doesn't make sense it makes sense to hold on to the diamond bars and sell them when they're at 560 that's what that's what makes sense so let's just build the power stack uh, gold bars selling low iron bars also selling pretty low so we're good there gold ruby necklace though selling very high and we happen to have 83 rubies. So let's go ahead and make 83 gold necklaces. Oops, made 84. It's all right. Make one of these. And let's make a bunch of these. All right, gold ruby necklace. Let's make the sale 62K. Gold emerald necklace. We can kind of hold on to that. As far as crafting goes, let's do gold sapphire and we use all of our rubies, of course. It's okay. Get more rubies next turn. All right, spiders were looking good. Bat wings also looking pretty good. Just need more planks. All right, everything's looking pretty good here. Really need our coal, need our trees to grow too. So we can keep getting that sweet, sweet coal. So let's go ahead and end our turn there, let's end the week, and let's take a little bit of a peek into the next upcoming week, which will be completed in the next episode. So let's end our turn. Week five is a thing of the past, week six dawns, and let's see what we have here, folks. So first thing I notice is a bunch more trees, which is tremendous, lovely. You love to see that. That's great. We have Alchemy Frenzy in effect. Alchemy Pots give one more item. Doesn't affect us. Of course, have Upgrade Day. We have Careful Miner. After destroying a larger ore, a small a small ore appears in its place. Very good for us. We have Tool Tax. The use of tools costs $10. It's going to be an expensive mining day. That's for sure. Like, that's for sure. Fish Day. No coal day. Coal doesn't drop from the ores. That's not good at all. And then payment day. So that's kind of what we're looking at here, folks. And, you know, I just had a thought come to mind. So with our upgrade junk water. I mean, it is an artificial way. Well, it's a way where we can use kale sandwiches to fish like a madman. And, you know, get some supplemental wood if we need it. It's definitely the way to use the rest of our energy on any given turn. You know, chip in 20, 30, 40 units of wood, right? Definitely good. But of course, we'll have to see. Maybe it's something that can work for us. Uh, looking into the future here, potions enjoy or sticky shovel. Nothing really good for us. Hopefully on upgrade day here, folks, we do get the one that gives us the coal every time we use. I mean, that's, that's going to be a huge one. It's almost super huge. I mean, it's going to be wildly, wildly impactful. 
and we kind of low-key need it. Like I said, I don't think we're out of the weeds yet. I mean, the taxes are only going to get more and more expensive. And although we have a nice operation here, we're kind of dependent on sell prices. For instance, the iron bar is going to be selling good. We'll, of course, do that. But we'll be doing that in the next episode here, folks. So I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you so much for your viewership. I really, really do appreciate it. Four cheese soup for 14 planks. That wouldn't be bad. Sorry, got a little distracted. I'm ending the video here. And I want to thank you for your viewership. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you're enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd we'll love to have you in the community. Let me know your thoughts, right? I mean, I personally think that we're not out of the weeds quite yet. Maybe you think that we're looking much, much better. I think we are running scarce on a lot of key resources that make this whole thing run, right? For instance, we have, what, a fourth of our furnaces being unused. And that's because we don't have the coal. So we have to continue to manage the balance between wood, coal, and ore. And it's kind of an important thing that's low-key creeping up on us just a little bit here. So do we turn more mines to coal and stone? And then as a result, creates, you know, less lucrative product like iron. Get just less overall gold per turn. These are all balances that we're kind of struggling with here just a little bit. But at the end of the day, we are up over the half a million dollar mark. Week six just dawned. And it's going to be a good episode to pick up here in the next video. So with that said, folks, I'm getting out of here. Again, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Please also like. It really helps out this uh, small channel here. It really helps me grow, and I really do appreciate it. So thanks a lot. I'm getting on out of here. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.